Okay, I'm going to do my uh, time lapse. It's not a good time lapse. Uh, there wasn't enough cloud movement, but I just wanted to show you how I edit my time lapse uh, videos. So let me go and unclick my uh, stack. Here's all my photos, okay? Now, let me uh, go back into developer. Developer. Okay, I'm going to crop that uh, screen ratio. I'm going to straighten up my foreground. Good. Bring it down just a little bit. Okay, and now I'm going to bump up my highlights. Darken the image just a little more. I'm, I'm looking at the sky more than the, the uh, foreground because I'm going to use the graduate to brighten up the foreground. So what I'm going to do now is get rid of the cyan look. Then I'm going to darken the sky just a little bit. It's real easy to get carried away. Okay, maybe lighten the greens a little. Whoop, didn't want to do that. Let me lighten the greens. Okay, what else can I do to it? Uh, let, me, let me darken it just a little bit and then drag out the highlights a little more. And see if I can. There we go. I'm starting to like that. Now let's add the vignette to it. Okay, let's turn off our feather. Let's square it up a little bit. I just like a square look and vignette better. Feather. Now, I'm going to get rid of this dust spot over here while I'm here. And then you have this tool. Let me zoom back out. Uh, zoom. Uh, T for tools. And you have visualized spots. Sometimes this helps. I look for little donuts. Maybe that. Maybe that. And then turn that off. Okay, now I'm going to do a um, graduate. Pull it up. If you hold a shift key, it keeps it straight. And then double click effect because I've been, well, you know what? That didn't look too bad. Anyway, I'll fix that in a little bit. Okay, luminosity, middle tone. Got a little bit of the sky, so I'm going to go to my brush, um, go to erase. Big brush and erase. And again, wherever the red's at is the where the effect will be. Okay. And let me put the let me go over here to smoothness. Smooth it out quite a bit. I don't want an edge right there. There we go. So now um Turn off the mask. I always push the wrong one because it says mask right there. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to open up exposure in the foreground. Open up the shadows. And a little too much. Starting to look HDR-ish. Is that a word? Okay. Ooh. I kind of like that. Now, on the sky, I'm going to do a new graduate. I'm going to pull it down from right about here. I don't mind that, but it's a little too dark. And let me do some dehaze. You want to be careful with the dehaze. See, it kind of looks, I don't know, like it's 
over contrasty or something. And we, I know it gets darker towards the end. Okay, something like that. So I'm done. Let's just say I'm done. So now I'm going to go all the way. Whoop, hit that wrong button again. That happens all the time. I'm going to go all the way to the end of the line. Click on the last photo. Sync. Sync everything. Now this will take a while. And what's it going to stamp? The recipe that I did on this one on every one of them. You can see it changing sides, <laughs> changing size at the bottom here. Okay, so I'm going to export these photos and I'm going to use this time lapse preset and let's see um, I'm going to choose the location and I'm going to put it on my hard drive, my external hard drive under video because we're making a video under raw age highway and I'm going to make a new folder H Highway TL time lapse. Okay, create and choose. Okay, so it's going to go into that folder. Uh, I'm going to change the name of it, and this is real important. We want the date and the sequential number. That's what's important. We want a JPEG. Uh, I'm going to use 1080 on the long edge and actually I'm going to upsize that. I'm going to go to 2000. Okay. Uh, 72 resolution, no watermark, and export. Now this will take a while. Okay, so they've all been transferred, so I'm going to quit. Whoop, quit Lightroom. I'm back it up and then I'm going to open DaVinci Resolve now DaVinci Resolve is a free program it's what I use to do all my editing um, of videos any videos I use DaVinci Resolve so here we are in DaVinci Resolve I'm going to go to the media I'm going to go to find where I put my um, clip, um, my uh, time lapse, and for some reason, DaVinci Resolve knows that I shot this in a sequence, so it stacks it together. So I'm going to throw that in my media pool. And I'm going to add it to my timeline. And I'll just, whoop get it over here and here's my finished time-lapse and it's not good it's just I wanted to show you sun's going down and that's it I ran out of patience I should have shot a little longer uh, usually most time-lapses this one's uh, I don't know how long Uh, eight seconds, nine seconds, about ten seconds is about right. And you can edit this just like any other uh, video. Kind of a neat effect. Anyway, that's how easy it is to do a time lapse in DaVinci Resolve.